18, day one, new week for science bell work this week. Make sure you guys create a new note in your science bell work notebook. Um, more than likely, I will be collecting bell work at the end of this week, so make sure we keep our bell work in that same note for the week. Um, this week, we're going to go over microwaves and how microwaves are able to work, function, and cook food. So when you hear the word radiation, you might think of x-ray machines or even nuclear weapons. But radiation is also what cooks your food in a microwave oven. Does that mean the food becomes radioactive? Of course not. Radiation is simply the transfer of energy by waves. These waves can move through matter as well as empty space. In fact, radiation from the sun travels 93 million miles through mostly empty space before it reaches Earth. Wow. The sun's energy or solar radiation radiates in waves of different wavelengths. Waves with the longest wavelengths have the least energy. Waves with the shortest wavelengths have the most energy. Microwaves are longer than visible light and have wavelengths measured in centimeters. Microwaves that are about 12 centimeters in length are the ones used to heat food in microwave ovens. Use the information from the passage and the diagram at the bottom of the page to fix each of the following statements. Cross out the incorrect word or words and write the correct ones above them. So we have our vocab words over here that we can use as well. Wavelength, radiation, microwave, and we have the diagram down here that shows us the different waves as far as radio, microwave, infrared, visible, ultraviolet, and x-ray. Okay, so number one, it says microwaves are shorter than visible light waves. Um, I think I read through that in the passage. Looks like in that towards the bottom, it says microwaves are longer than visible light and have wavelengths measured in centimeters. So we would cross out shorter, and we would replace that with longer. Uh, number two, x-ray radiation is used to heat food. Um, well, we know it's not x-ray radiation. It's actually microwaves. Microwaves are <clears throat> the waves that are used to heat food. Excuse me. <clears throat> so it would be cross out x-ray radiation and replace that with Um, the longest wavelengths have the most energy. Well, it says up here the longest wavelengths have the least energy, and waves with the shortest wavelengths have the most energy. So it would actually be longest wavelengths have the least energy. So we could cross out most and put least, or you could cross out longest and put shortest. Either one would work there. So I'll do both. Choose either one would work. And then number four, radiation is the transfer of matter by waves. Well, if we go to radiation, radiation works for food. We read through the pas passage that radiation is the transfer of energy. Seeing radiation is simply the transfer of energy by waves. So we would cross out matter and we would put energy. There you have it. Science Bell Work, week 18, day one. Make sure you guys have created a new note for this week's Bell Work. Have a good day, guys.